we walk into this beautiful building, and, and anytime you do talk, fans reach out to us and say, you know, ask about this, ask about that. The district that you promised when it came here, you know, when you opened this building in 2016, and that was three and a half years before a pandemic, how close is the vision to becoming a reality? What is an update you can give? Is there hope? Because as we look at playoff landscapes in the NBA and NHL, those districts are finished. Cities like Milwaukee will pop up in a couple of years and, and change the city's dynamic. Is there any update you can provide today? Yeah, no, there's not, there's not much uh, beyond what we've already shared publicly. Um, very excited about the launch or the announcement um, of, of the Detroit Center for Innovation uh, in collaboration with the University of Michigan um, and um, you know, Stephen Ross and his organization. I think that is going to be a catalytic uh, you know, enterprise uh, that you know, has generated a lot of development um, in other parts of the country where those types of uh, developments have occurred. So I, I'm very excited. Um, you know, we've, um, we've actually continued to build through the pandemic, which is pretty remarkable. Uh, we've gotten some great projects finished and we're gonna continue steady progress. You're gonna see continued steady progress in and around Comerica Park and Little Caesars Arena and throughout the entire district. So I'm, I'm very um, excited with the progress we've made and, and I think we have the potential to even accelerate a lot of that. Again, market conditions and uh, you know, all that has to fall into line, but I'm, I'm very optimistic um, and we're working hard at it. Um, so. We'll, we'll see how things unfold, but I, I have a positive outlook on that.